Hey, welcome back. This is part three of the video series for the HUD and camp basic camera movements. Today we're going to do another basic camera movement using the interp to move actor. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is create a blueprint. It's going to be an actor blueprint. We're going to call it interp. We're going to go ahead and open that up. We're going to add an interp to movement component. We're going to go ahead and go to the event graph, delete the defaults, we don't need those. We're going to add a custom event, we're going to call that one activate interp. We're going to add a second one, we're going to call that deactivate interp. We're going to add a third one, we're going to call that restart. Then we're going to bring in a function called activate. And you're going to select activate enter the movement, deactivate. You're going to bring in deactivate enter the movement. And then another function called restart. And you're going to pick restart, adjust it, enter the movement. Click that into the pin. I'll highlight enter the movement on the right hand side in your details panel. You can go to control and add three arrays. You can add as many as you want. I'm just going to do three. We'll go ahead and put 100 in this one, 100 in this one, 100 in this one. We'll keep all these highlighted as relative because we're just going to move relative to that existing position. Change the duration to say 10 seconds. And then if you want it to loop, change this behavior type from one shot to ping pong. You can play around with these settings depending on how you want your camera to travel. We'll save that. Go to the level blueprint. Go ahead and drag that actor in first. Set it about there. Go to the main level blueprint. We're going to get a keyboard binding. We'll use numpad 3. We'll get a flip flop. Connect that into there. We're going to go ahead and get a pause rendering. Turn off context sensitive so it'll show up and hit a get. Look right hit on a get. <laughs> Set. We'll go ahead and copy that. Look the A into the first one. Turn that to true. We're going to drag in from the at world outliner. We're going to drag in reference to your interp actor you made and also one to your owl cinecam. We're going to create an attach attack actor to actor. We want to make sure these location rules are all snapped to target. Put that in there. Put that into your pause rendering alt. Drag off your Cinecam capture. We're going to get a capture component. Look for the owl. Right here, owl Cinecam capture. Get capture component. You're going to drag that in your pause rendering. Both of them. Drag off of your owl Cinecam into your target of your attach actor to actor. Drag from your interp into your pause or your parent actor. Then we're going to go ahead and call three custom events that you made in the insert blueprint earlier. That'll be activate. Activate insert event. Restart interp event. And also deactivate interp event. Drag off your interp reference to all three of those. Connect your pins, your execute pins from the pause rendering to the interp or activate interp and to the restart interp. Come off a of pin B from your flip flop to the deactivate interp. 
compile that, save that. We'll minimize that. Bring up your OBS window. Hit play. Hit numpad three. And now as you see, you've got a nice little cinematic movement. You can change that in the blueprint. And next time, I'll show you how to enable tracking so the camera follows whatever target you want to look at. Till then, I'll see you next time.